back everyone. When searching for another place to explore, I came across Red Rock Canyon State Park. The photos online were so stunning that I had to see it for myself. Just off of Highway 14, when driving and came close, I was not prepared for the towering red strip cliffs that came into view. In my mind, all I could think of was, wow, and immediately turned off the road into the large parking lot. Located about one third of a mile south of Abbott Drive, the main entrance of the park, it featured huge steep scenic red cliffs, small caves and big rocks that you can actually walk right up to. Red Rock Canyon includes two natural preserves and features spectacular rock formations, panoramic views of the desert landscape and sandstone desert cliffs with prominent rust staining from iron oxide that creates bold red stripes. These same red stripe rock formations in the park served as a landmark once during the early 1870s for a 20 mule team freight wagons that stopped for water. With 27,000 acres that make up Red Rock Canyon State Park, there is no restrictions. If you want to go hiking and explore around without having to stay on a trail, and you can go anywhere you want. There's not much here, just a vault toilet, a couple of picnic tables. However, those who take the time to explore the area a little bit will find a scenic dramatic landscape of slot canyons, washes, rocks, and towering cliffs. And guys, let me tell you, preserved in the rocks of the Red Cliffs National Conservation Area is evidence that dinosaurs once roamed this area millions of years ago. Fossil footprints or tracks were first discovered in the sandstone cliffs in 1998. Next, I drove over to the main park area where they have a campground and a visitor center. I will also be checking out the campground which is called Ricardo Campground. Wow, this place is amazing. Make sure to bring your camera, this is a great area to explore. Be sure to wear good shoes as it is slippery in some areas. In more recent times, Red Rock Canyon has been the location of many movies, videos and commercials. In addition, the canyon is considered a wonderful classroom for the study of geology and photography, as well as an ideal place for family camping and exploration. First time visitors may think of the desert as the empty and uninteresting badland. However, appreciation and interest grows as one becomes more acquainted with the area and the extreme conditions in which the different biotic communities exist. So guys, the park is 25 miles northeast of Mojave on Highway 14, near Cantil. Go west one fourth of a mile on Abbott Drive, signage indicating the turnoff is clearly visible on Highway 14. As I drive into the park, I can tell that there's self-registration and payment is required before setting up camp or parking. Want to come for the day? There's miles of trails here. Through the dramatic landscape of the park and hiking is a way to experience the desert. If you're just coming for the day, use the desert safety precautions, bring twice as much water as you think you need, and layered clothing for sudden fluctuations in temperature. In the summer, it can get really hot, and in the winter, really cold and windy. I quickly stopped in the small visitor center to grab a brochure, paid the $6 interest fee, and checked out a few displays and information on the animals, fossils found in the park. recognized one would be uh, Jurassic Park, the original one. Oh, really? Yeah, the uh, dig scene at the beginning when they're in uh, Montana, that was filmed here. It was filmed somewhere over in like the scenic cliffs area, that's what I was told. Yeah, so kind of like somewhere, I think it was kind of like over in that area, around there. Yeah, that was the dig scene in Jurassic Park in the beginning when they're 
explaining uh, to the kid like how the raptors would uh, kill its prey and stuff. Oh, that is so cool. I'm going to go see. I'm going to go check it out. And then camping is $25? $25 a night. Uh, it's basically campgrounds are all primitive, so they have no hookups or anything. Uh, there is potable water at each one of the restrooms. You know that you can get uh, some Wi-Fi in some of the camp spots if you have a clear view of the uh, visitor center. Yeah. And do you make the reservation online or uh, how? Here it's first come first serve. Oh, okay, so good. So basically what you do is you come in, you circle the campground, you pick the spot that you want. Then you would either come down here and register with us, or if we're not here, then the kiosk is open, you register at the kiosk. Is there plenty of spaces or no? I mean, uh, we have 50 spaces. Okay, there, so there should no be a here. We're yeah, the only it, ones here. Really? Oh, no, okay. there is one other person camping. I, really? don't know where, I don't know where he is. There's no problem. I can just come with a trailer without making... I don't need a reservation. Just come No, with. you don't need a reservation. As long as there's space. And then trailer-wise, we have a 30-foot limit. Got it. So. I only have a tiny one, 13-foot. Yeah. Uh, okay. every spot's available to you <laughs> perfect <laughs> thank you so much i really appreciate it guys i was checking out the book they have at the visitor center over 150 motion pictures have been filmed here at red rock canyon state park like jurassic park scorpion keen planet of the apes a few good men star trek star wars mash and many others the campground is tucked up against the base of dramatic desert cliffs with 50 primitive campsites Portable water, pit toilets, fire rings, and tables. Bring your own firewood or purchase it at the visitor center. There are no RV hookups here or showers. Again, camping is $25 per night per site, which includes parking for one vehicle per site or $23 for seniors, 62 and older. Additional vehicles are $6 each. Sites can accommodate 30 feet maximum on RVs and trailers. Vehicles including off-road vehicles must be parked within the rock line areas provided at each campsite. No horses or livestock allowed in the campground. Quiet hours are 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. And generators must be off from 8 p.m. until 10 a.m. So guys, I'll be checking out each campsite. There's about 50 campsites here. They're all primitive, but that way you can see which side you like. Each one, it is different. All sites come with a picnic table and a fire pit. Potable water and restrooms are nearby. Out here, it can get cold at night and windy, so be prepared. I'm sure if you never visited this place, you'll love it here. There aren't many services nearby. Mojave is 20 miles south, so you'll want to be self-sufficient. If you're wondering about cell service, if your phone is able to make Wi-Fi calls, the campground has Wi-Fi available provided by the state park. Most sites near the visiting center will have better reception coverage. The further you go back, the less service in my experience, but other cell providers may have different ranges of services there. The campsites against the rocks are my favorite. Depending on the time of the year, it can be crowded. I think right now it's a good time, if you don't mind a little wind. Campground is either very busy or nearly deserted depending on what season and day of the week. No matter where you camp, this place is absolutely gorgeous. If you're wondering about wildlife, wildlife is abundant within the park with sightings occurring regularly. Like mule deer, coyotes, bobcats, tarantulas, rattlesnakes, just to name a few. All of these are commonly seen by visitors throughout the year, as well as a wide variety of birds. wondering about the roads the park entrance road and campground roads are well maintained and easy for an RV or trailer 
All the other roads within the park are permitted dirt roads where 4x4 is recommended. guys I am showing each campsite there's 50 campsites here and I'm showing each campsite what they look like and where they're located the campsites near the cliffs are my favorite the park is open from sunrise to sunset for day use but campground is open 24 hours, seven days a week. If you're thinking about going hiking, there are actually several different trails in the park, but the most popular trails are the Red Cliff, Hagen Canyon, and in the Ricardo Campground Trail. There's also so much to explore here, and the views seem to be endless. Even though the campground was near empty, that's okay because this is what makes it so peaceful and serene. You should be definitely planning a trip here. Trust me, it's worth it. This is just beautiful. Yeah, this reminds me of Zion's on a different scale with different rock. And I can't believe they uh, recorded, uh, they filmed that movie Jurassic Park here. Did they really? Yeah. This area? Uh-huh. Yeah, and if you walk by right here where the wash is and feel some of that rock, uh -huh. some of it's harder than others. Let's see. Like right here, who was on my cut? You can just feel, like right here, how that's so soft. Oh, wow. It's like there's water there. Well, probably from the rains yesterday that we had. And this all is all new. Because we have more rain this year than I think they've had in years. You just walk in there and you can see how it was. Wow, this is beautiful. Comes down further and further and further and creates more of these. It continues to cut through the sand, and as it continues to cut through the sand, so say there was enough flooding right here, it would create a, like a whirlpool as it's trying to drain. Oh yeah, I can see that. So it would create a whirlpool, and then wear off the dirt and keep going and keep going and going. So you can see that that's more of the disturbed. And then as it comes down, keeps cutting through and then goes out. Each canyon is unique with dramatic shapes and vivid colors. Best time of day to visit Red Rock Canyon is May through September when temperatures can reach 100 degrees by noon. I would suggest visiting the park early morning. October and November and March and April are all very comfortable months to visit all day long. Amazing rock formations surrounded most of the campground, which makes it fun just being there. Great place to camp overnight or just a day visit. Park fees are very reasonable and the rangers are extremely friendly and helpful. I look forward to spending more time camping on my next trip here. It's really hard to pick that perfect spot. All of them have different scenic views. If you're planning to bring your pet, pet should be on a leash at all times. Don't forget to pick up after your pet. are generously spaced and you can grab a campsite at a moment's notice most of the time but the campground may fill up on spring and fall weekends and during three-day holiday weekend 
park rangers suggest arriving on Thursday evening or early Friday morning during those times. The state park has a fascinating history. Scientists believe that this whole area lay underwater at the bottom of a massive lake 10 million years ago. Many types of fossils have been found here and are due to high iron content in some of the layers. have it guys. If you decide to camp here, hopefully you make this your next destination. 